How much damage do we do? Oh, 16,000! Oh, you love to see! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive! And look at this home screen. We have a whole friggin' new update! And we've got a new hybrid! Oh, now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to unlock it. Hopefully, I will. will time will tell. But I just wanted to start this on this absolutely beautiful work of art so oh are you ready guys we have got so much to get into because not only have we got there it is the extinction friggin pass a new pass has arrived complete missions to rank up your pass level for exclusive rewards so if you know you know we've, we've done stuff in the past um and this is just clocked over now um, I think they're focusing not on what you can see right in front of you, which is the new Indominus Rex hybrid, but I think like flightless birds or something. I don't know. Um, true to Boa Champion. Oh, okay. Uh, the season, a new season has begun. Oh, yes. Go to pass. Yes. Ooh, that's a nice one. So we're getting giga rewards now. Ooh. Although saying that, there is. So this. Okay, let's just start the new season pass then, shall we? So if you do the free one, you get the T Rex, which is okay. And premium, you get the Fukuyusaurus thingy, whatever you want to call it. That thing I'm very worried about saying. <laughs> uh, and then let's see what else we get. So Struthia Mimas, the bird. There is that hybrid, okay, as well as a new emote there all right an allosaurus gentoo uh incubator or sense sorry no oh the roth alloraptor looks like a cool skin however it's alloraptor so who cares <laughs> here we go so if you were to you know get premium pass you get two skins you get the roth alloraptor skin and you also get the envy skin which I, arguably is a very good, I don't know. Right, now we can jump into the actual game. Beautiful. Before we jump into the actual game, you know, what I wanted to do was actually look at this upcoming week. Because on Wednesday, we can check to see what it's going to be. Or at least I'm allowed to. Ludia's like, you can show that now. So on Wednesday and Thursday, um, you've actually got six attempts for a... Wait, hold on. Is that right? It's also giving you six attempts to dart one of the rare, like, geo-locked sort of uh, epics, but according to the map that I'm looking at, it's Stegoceratops, so interesting to see they've probably made a last-minute change to that. Uh, however, Friday to Saturday, uh, you've got some interesting uh, legendaries, or sorry, epics there to dart. Um, it's up to you which one you want to go for. Sunday is interesting, yes. You've got the Cold Hast, you've got the Carno Trichosaurus, you've got Mono Stegotops, the Mammoth Hybrid, as well as, this is the interesting one, um, it's the new Therizinosaurus Hybrid. Now, I think that's probably one you want to go for out of all of those, because the other ones have kind of been in here for a while. But that guy has a triple, a freaking triple strike attack. Uh, what's interesting to note out of all of those is that we do have an Overaptor Incubator on the Friday. So that's interesting, because that's a new creature, I'm pretty sure. But there is no way, I don't think, looking at this, that you can get a Carbonemis. And Carbonemis is what you're wanting to make the new hybrid. And, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Would you believe, like, right off the bat, it's like, hey! Do you need 250 of, of, of the Smile Nemesis and maybe just 40 of the new Indominus hybrid? <laughs> Give us your money. Please, we want all of your money. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's Lydia, isn't it? That's what to expect. Um, so, of course, that comes out because why would they not want to make money? What's interesting is... Oh, we've got another incubator for 20 if you want that as well. Wow, they are being so generous. Is there going to be another one that gives you like 10 or 5? No, there's not. Okay. Well, that's interesting. You've also got this, which, of course, gives you all of those, which you don't really care about. Is there anything else new that's in here in the shop? No. No, there isn't. So, this is my team before we start making the Indominus Rex hybrid. It's been a bit chaotic, I know, but there's a lot going on. So, finally, I've done it. We are getting a level 30 friggin' crocodile, which now pushes my, like, attack to 2,461, and this to almost 5,000. Thousand. Let's be honest, it's probably going to be more than 5,000 because you usually go for Basque. Oh, yes, that's right. We've we've got a couple more of these to do, don't we? I think I can hybridize. Oh, yes, I can do you twice. Whoa. And why is that off center? What's going on? Why is it? Okay. <laughs> Obviously, it's interesting, isn't it? 
the, the, the updates for this game that come out and then before you know it uh, there's loads of other problems that happen as well like as you can see that when you click multi fusions it goes off to the left no idea why that happens if you do multi it's all multi fusions oh fantastic so we'll quickly just rattle through we'll do a five on this see what we get of course it's all 20s and 10s but i don't mind if we just waste all of our tries on the 10s on this hybrid so i can get 30s and 40s on the next one so now we can do two more pops now the good news is with this comsa raptor i've now got it out of the danger zone of ref so ref was the thing that would counter this and it would basically do its group attack the priority and it would hit all of them in the die but very rarely does that ever do over 4,000 damage. With a crit, it probably would. Uh, Pyrotops, I haven't got any more. But we want to scroll down because we want to have a look at the new dinosaurs. Not only the new dinosaurs, but other dinosaurs have been nerfed. So the Alberto hybrid, whatever, has been nerfed. And instead of having 3,009 damage, I think, at max, it's now 2,940. So it's had like 50 or 60 so taken off, which I guess isn't so bad. But it, yeah, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Uh, so we have like two or three new hybrids i'll pull up an image hopefully i've still got it yeah there it is which shows you what you need to do in order to make these new hybrids which is a very handy dandy thing that i found on i don't know some sort of group anyway there it is uh, <laughs> so before we do that i kind of want to have a look at this this is the listro savis which is again another flock creature um that have you know they're very there's a lot of talk about these things because let's be honest they're a nuisance uh to come up against these flock creatures and you need things that are good um and argent i feel like i have yeah for the argentyrix i have used a lot of this dna in order already to make that but we need to get it to level was it 15 or maybe it was even 20 um in order to get that i mean we're getting close. We've got two more levels, but like how much? Oh god, yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna have like a tiny bit left to spare once we get it to level 20. Um, maybe a thousand. Oh, not even a thousand, like 800 or three. I think it's like 700 or 800. Brilliant. And what do we need to make this? Ah, it's these guys. Oh, I love... Oh, wait. Oh, I need to fuse this a good few more hundred times. Yes, there's the... Look at that. hundred fuses. And we only got like 70 once. That's mainly my fault that I won't be able to get it there just because... Although, we'll see. Maybe we will be able to max it up already. Um... Just because the Smile and Emmy's raid was a right pain in the butt to do. Uh, oh, wow, we get one pop. Okay, never mind, because it was 500. Oh, you know what? A 30 is not so bad. Well, there we go. We've, we've made some sort of headway into that. <laughs> Very small. Right, next one is this. Oh, we don't even have that thing. Oh, that's a that's right. It's the new um, new dinosaur that was in Dominion. Yes. Uh, right. So Indominus, Indominemis, or Indonemis, Indonemis. So we have 13 pops at this thing. Worst case scenario, we get 130. If we get 20s, average of 20 each time, it's 260. And let's factor in maybe an odd 50 or something. But we'll see. We'll see if we even get there. Worst case scenario. Well, oh, and its shadow's already roaring. I love when you get to see that with the little tricks of the trade behind the scenes. Because I got T-Rex up to level 20. Oh, yes. Okay, we're, we're building well. Already two. We got 10 left. And we're on 50. Yes, we'll, I, I'm, I'm assuming we'll 100% get this. Whether we buy the, uh, the incubator... To, in order to just get another 250 Smile and Emmys DNA to push us over. We will get there. We will get there. Um, I kind of want to just have a look. The thing is, this dinosaur is... I'm, I'm thinking about teams and what's going to replace or what you're going to replace it with. If you have Indotaurus in your team, I see no reason, no reason whatsoever to not have this over Indotaurus because it has its cloak, which what is what Indotaurus you use it for, right? Um, although Indotaurus has a counter. Uh, but you have bait with this thing, which is weird. Oh, wait, no, Interrupted. Yeah, Interrupted has bait. Does Indominus Rex also have bait? Well, anyway, uh, which basically means that when it gets attacked, um, its passive is to boost its attack a little bit and to nerf your your attack um, if you're able to take uh, attack reductions. So, wow, we're already on 200. I, Yeah, okay, this game's been nice. It's been generous, you know, because you save up a lot and you finally do a pop. If you got 10 on an apex, it's like, really? Really? Give me a 10 on an apex? 
That's when I was expecting to get a 10 there, but I didn't. <laughs> and I think when you unlock it, you automatically get it to level 26, I think it is. Um, so, oh, and there it is! A 50 puts us well over! And we've still got another three pops. Are you ready, guys? The Indominemi's the thing that won the poll for your, you know, Apex voted favorite creature is finally here. And is it going to break the game? Here it is! Indominemi's! Beautiful. Oh my god, why did it have a glowy eye for a second? And it's the werewolf Indominus Rex. Is it on all fours? No, which is great because we thought Indotaurus would look like this and it didn't. It went on all fours. Oh yeah, so it does have a glowy eye. That is interesting. Uh, so we can do three more pops. Maybe we can even get it over to level 27. And with getting like 30s and 40s at each time, I think we're in with a shot. Ooh, ooh, 4,500. Oh, another 40. I think, yeah, we've definitely done it. Even, yeah, we've done it, even with a 10. We got a level 27 already. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, we may not even need to buy the incubator because I actually already have some smiling Emmys um, uh, fuses to go. So here we go. Level 27, a 30% armor. That is ridiculous. <laughs> for an Indominus Rex and 20% crit. Uh, we'll have a look at its moves. So lesser fierce decelerating strike. Um, doesn't affect all like flock. So that's okay. But it does go through armor and uh, shields. So it, it's a good thing against Anklos looks and it reduces speed. Another thing against Anklos looks. It's fierce devouring impact actually has devour. Uh, goes through shield and block. I mean, you've seen that with Rexy. Um, now this is where it gets interesting. It's deli <laughs> deli 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 <laughs> a debilitating rampage and run. Highest damage. Again, none of these hit everything. So it's not going to get flocks. Um, but it reduces the damage of the opponent by a hundred percent. So even if you have a 50% reduction, like ref or something, uh, you're reducing your attack by half already um, for two turns for four attacks. So two turns is ridiculous. Um, it does 3,254, which is double its attack. Um, and you swap out. It can't be um, locked in at all. Yeah, swap prevention is there. And this is this is where we knew for a fact we in Dynamics was going to uh, be the winner because we saw in the data mine that a new move was coming called Prowling Revenge Cloak. Smalanemis has a uh, uh, Prowling uh, Cloak or whatever and of course Indominus has Revenge Cloak uh, and the two together makes this. But what is special about it and what's better about it than Indotaurus is that you cleanse yourself instantly which is really good. You get two times damage for the next attack. 75% chance to dodge. Um, so everything seems to be the same except for the cleanse. But the target is uh, have, it has its speed reduced by 50% for two turns and four attacks. Um, and then priority basically just uh, does more damage. But um, a swap instance where when you swap this thing in, it has a 66% chance to stun an enemy. And most things are, uh, you know, they're immune to stun, so it's not so bad. The bait is really good. This is the passive. So you get 25% extra attack if you get hurt and you try and reduce the opponent by 25% for their attack. Uh, again, if they're resistant, it's not going to make too much of a difference. Uh, and you also have prowl on escape. So if the opponent escapes, I think, I'm pretty sure, um, you cleanse and you also get a 75% chance to dodge for two attacks. Oh, it's just so good. The fact that this thing can't be stunned, it can't be swap prevented, means that you do not need to worry about anything like Anklos Lux stunning you. Um, you do not need to worry about anything locking you in, like the, um, what's it called, the the Phlox or anything like that. Rend, resistance, I mean, not many things use Rend. Really, it's only the the bird, like the flock flightless birds or into Taurus. Uh, damage over time for bleed. Again, you only see that really in Ref, and it's 50% resistance, so great. And speed reduction. Well, you're probably going to reduce the opponent's speed by 50%, and you've got a resistance to 75%. So I would say it's looking pretty good for Indonemis. Um, so we'll do a couple of fusions here. We only need over to about 50. See, this is where you get the 10s. I quite like that they aren't doing 10s on the Apex, because they know for a fact that people are going to be annoyed at it. But 10s for everything else? Okay. Fair enough. I'll take it. As long as I don't get 10s. And of course, I'm 59. So, um, it's... If I... I could be on 49 and be one off getting a fusion. So... And it's probably going to happen on this next fuse when I get like a 20 and I'll be on 99, isn't it? It's 100% going to happen. Are you going to give me a 20? 
Oh, never mind. You didn't even give me that. Oh, sweet. Fantastic. Well, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to freaking buy the thing. <laughs> this is the only incubator that I've bought since doing the whole T-Rex thing. The Rexy. Because good God, am I not going to do it ever again. And this is basically... It's for a video. We got 40. We are, we're getting close. It's only got, what, 8, 9, 10. It's only got three more boosts until it's fully maxed. Um, I don't really need Indominus Rex. What I do need is the Smile and Emmys hybrid. So that's like five pops and with 10 being not even the minimum we're in with good stead so this is the incubator that we're going to be getting um and uh, none of it has anything that we need oh fantastic that's that's this week basically oh it's reset the uh, the thingies that's oh so i'll get to go back to uh, gyrosphere depot and actually see things in good light oh i can't wait be interesting to see whether what people swap out for this but if you've got like i said if you've got into taurus on your team that's probably going to be the most likely culprit also this guy has like some smoke coming up from it if you you can see that right kind of reminding me of do you remember arc you know survival evolved it had the event which was the dodo rex i'm getting vibes of that here with its like glowing eye and its weird sort of smoke that it's uh having come off it there it's interesting also to note that the um the new what is it the event the pass the season pass thing has this as like the top of the picture but yet you never get any dna of it or any of its ingredients so it's like hey look this thing's here it's got nothing to do with what's below <laughs> so we'll get it to level 28 at level 29 um you're good to go like you uh, you're not gonna make too much of a difference really um once you start putting boosts on it it'll be oh and that was a 10 <gasps> a rogue 10 e that was cheeky <laughs> now that i'm level 28 it's like yeah, give him some little ones. Make him fish around for a little bit. Has he bought that incubator yet? Okay, make him use that. Make him buy that incubator. And the final pop gives us... Oh, really? As soon as I hit over 28, I get the 10s? Thanks, game. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay. Um, I kind of want to just have a quick look to see what everybody else... Oh, oh. Oh, okay. I guess I'll, well, I have to collect this, apparently. Uh, so what was it? Oh, that's great! Okay, so, you know, something for a, for a hybrid. Brilliant. And we get our incubator. What is this? Oh, he's a cutie little face. Um, so we'll also... Ooh, Giganotosaurus season. So if, you know, I'm assuming the meta's not going to change too much. Really, we might see that new flock come in and maybe some people will swap out the uh, Comsoraptor for it. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just looking forward, really, to being able to, you know, be in Gyrosphere for a hot minute so I can see my dinosaurs in natural light and just see how good they look. Uh, we'll just quickly open all of these incubators. Give me all of this stuff. Are you going to give me carbon emmys? <gasps> You know he gave me the deer. Fantastic. So now... Oh, is it not even ranked? I was going to say, where... where? Oh, that's the highest already. Look at that. Where's IDGT or whatever it's called? So there already, there's a level 30. We've got 2,500 attack, 7,000 health, and 127. Um, what about this guy? Does he have it max up already? No. Oh, ooh, no, actually. None of these seem to be the top people at the moment. Just because it has only been 40 minutes since it's uh, sort of went over. But there's Game Press. Game Press doesn't even have it either. There we go. There's another one. 2,590 and 7,000. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm seeing a pattern there. Uh, I kind of want to use it. Not gonna lie. So we do have enough to max it in whatever stat we want to. 2,000 seems to be the 2,500. Because then when you use cloak, you're doing like 10,000. I've seen some ridiculous numbers. This thing can do like 13,000 damage. Um, so, I mean, it's probably gonna have to be more than 10. I've got two more levels to put on it. So at level 29, it becomes 2,300. And level 25, it'll be 2,500. Um, so we'll also put some health on it as well, just to make sure that it can survive. 5,000 is around about a good, good region to be in if something has a priority that does a lot of damage. So we'll get you to about... About there, and at level 26,200. No, we're gonna need a... We're gonna need a lot more, really. <laughs> we're gonna need a lot of health. So that takes us to 2,400. And yeah, I think... What we, what do we gain? Like, five, six, seven, two, three hundred 300 each, and that'll take us to the right amount. And now, for speed. Well, the minimum I've seen is about 200... 127. And there we go. I think 
with the next levels that come in, we put maybe one on attack and then one on health. And, it, you know, I think, I think we're, we're usable at that point. But the question is, what do we swap out? Well, it's going to have to be a toss-up for me between Giga and Rexy. Now, Rexy is normally really good because you can, you know, if you've killed a few things, putting it in, it's a surefire way to win. At least I find it in a way. You've got your priority that can hit uh, flocks as well. Um, and I, for that reason, I'm going to have to swap out Giga. Unfortunately, I think the Giga hybrid is really good. But the fact that it can just be like completely nullified by any of the flocks um, is too much of a take like a, a takeaway from it. Um, but Indominemis is really good as an opener because we can go for cloak. So many times I've seen, oh God, hold on. Oh, we need to turn the music off so we can put our own in. Oh, also hold the phone. We've also got all of these to collect. I completely forgot about the season pass. Uh, so we'll just quickly collect this. And I think I've also done the monthly mission, which is like 200. Yes, I always wait for these. And especially with the week as well, you can get it at the right point so that as soon as this uh, like clocks over already, we're up to level 17. Make that 18. Is it even going to go any higher? Uh, I don't even know what we're on. What are we on? 18, sweet. So we can't collect the season pass, but I, I feel like for the first time ever, I am not fussed about the season pass. Like, Connor Raptor, not fussed about. It's it's a bit of a shame to miss out on the skins, but in Dominemis, the new hybrid was in there. I might have considered it. So for the first time in the thing, there's only been three of these. I'm not going to get it. Can we, can we get a... Well done, well done me. Okay, on to the battles. Okay, uh, oh, sweet. Okay, so the first one does not include it. Oh, yay. Oh, God, stop it. Stop it. Oh, my God, he's left with one health. <laughs> Hold on, he deserves a nice for that one. That is amazing. Oh, wow, okay, so I wasn't planning to, you know, even record this. But the fact that I just left him on one health. Oh, that is... That is beautiful. Wow. Okay. Well, we still won, unfortunately, because that means that I think this might be the end. <laughs> the end of Gyrosphere. Hopefully, you know, we don't get Indominemis in the next one we lose, and then maybe we get it after that. But anyway, there you go. That's that one done. Easy win, I'd say. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't really see the meta changing after this update, but you never know. Still early days. It is the first day. <laughs> okay, come on. Here we go. This is it. We're actually in Gyrosphere again. And we... Yes! Okay, open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. It's like a present. <laughs> open with it. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, we are. Oh, God. Okay. So we got... Well, that, that very rarely happens. You get a dinosaur in one HP. It's the same person again. It might be the same person again. Oh, of course. Oh, brilliant. It's, it's like literally the one thing that this thing can't face up against. <laughs> His flocks, and of course he opens with one. Are you kidding me? No, I want to showcase my Indonemies. Oh, that's a bugger. Out of all the things he could have done, really, you go for this. So actually, he's reducing my speed, which he can do. I do resist it by 75% chance, but when I go for my cloak... Oh, oh that's a cool pose. Is that new animation? <gasps> this thing has new animations. It doesn't do the Indominus Rex animation of just, like, going down, roaring, and coming back up. Oh, that is sweet. So, unfortunately, yep, everything, yeah, is the way it's going to be. We're just going to have to get out of there. Unfortunately, we can't do much else. And we don't even get to see the amount of max damage that this thing really could have done. Bugger. <laughs> but, you know, maybe we can get rid of this flock and we can get Indonamis in again. Uh, so do you... Oh, invincibility. Oh, look at all... Look at all the extra things you get here. For two attacks and one did. Well, we're just putting in the crocodile. So who's going to get hit? And then, like, buy back. Break their shield. Oh, it's a double... Oh, it's a crit. Is a crit for both of them? Oh, a crit for both of them. And it was only a 30% chance worth. <laughs> now, good news is... Um, oh, we don't kill it. Uh, maybe it's not so good news. Um, we, oh, what happens when we swap in? We have a chance of stunning it, don't we? That's our swap-in thing. Oh, well, there is a chance to stun them, but I'm assuming it's incredibly low. Um, oh, defense shattering. Only 2,000? Oh, of course, because that's a reduction from the uh, Indominemis. Oh, it's still, 
still taking effect even though it's barely there. Uh, so it can now only go for its fierce strike. Um, so, I mean, I may as well. Yeah, unless it gets a crit here, but it's really low chance. It's a 25% chance of a crit, goddammit. <laughs> Goddamn this game. Uh, okay, well, uh, what do we do here? I, uh, there's no point in me going for Indominemies again. You know what? We'll just try Rexy. We'll try Rexy. Um, what's the worst case that happens? He goes for his priority. He manages to dodge it. And then I just go for a hit. And then I've still got my attack increase for the next turn. Oh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Worst case scenario for Rexy is... Ref? Ref's a pretty good solid counter to it. Um, or maybe not a solid counter when I've already got my dominant roar off. Um... But we'll see what he's got up his sleeve. It's gonna, it's gonna take something here, something to beat me, something good. Although I don't want Rex you to steal the show. Rex, you're already good. We need to see the new. Th oh my god, he's really, really. Oh, is he? Oh, oh, interesting. This thing, it's going to die <laughs> unless it goes for its priority uh, provocative alert. Oh no, he tries. This hits everything, right? I don't. Oh, no, it only hits one of them. Oh, but that's okay, then. Oh, he's got another one. <laughs> he's just made them fly. Are you kidding me? Wow, this guy's just like, you know what? Flocks are the new meta. I'm going to have flocks everywhere. Well, I'm still going to do a lot of damage to you. So, oh, look at that. I went through one. Would you believe? Uh, now, can he lock me in? I don't think he can. Does he? I think he does lock you in. Uh, escape, he unable to swap. Yeah. So I may as well just go for like, may as well go for this hit. If I get lucky, I actually get through the dodge. I don't know if it's like a 100% chance. Oh, my attack's reduced. Anyway, oh, maybe, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, this is a bugger. <laughs> I guess, you know, having like something that can take on flocks in your team is great. But when, you know, it's everything, or the entire team is flocks, then... Oh, it's a bit of a tricky one, actually. I might even lose to this. Um, I mean, he's got his tar, but... Oh, he's swapping. Swapping, really? For what, though? I'm assuming he just wants to swap into his tar, Ganathus, to then get one back. I'm assuming that's what he's got. And then he can just go for something that, like, shatters my... Um... Oh, he's, he's got his own Rexy! Oh, my God! Wow, after all that... <laughs> Okay, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can really do here. Because um, he's going to have priority. If I swap out, I'm taking a chunk of damage. Uh, saying that, it is only 2,600. Uh, does he swap, stop me from swapping out? I don't think he does. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, what else can I do, right? If we're going to take a loser, let's let's make sure the Indominemies is the next one to lose. That's a bugger. That was the perfect team to counter me, and it was completely not meta, because there's like three flocks in it. Oh, dear. That is interesting. So the swapping stun. Do I get a stun? Yes, I got that friggin' stun. You kidding me? Get in. <laughs> is he going to go for it? I think he might. No, he doesn't even go for his priority, but he was quicker. He could have at least have done a big hit, but I guess he just wants to do his massive hit. Okay, okay. Invisible goes for it. Oh, it actually gets through. That is, uh, I am screwed. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, we increase our attack. We reduce his attack. He gets his devour heal off. Um, is there really anything I can do apart from, I mean, he's he's probably just going to swap into his Tarbaganathus and that's going to easy rinse uh, my Ankylos look. So there's nothing I can do here. Um, oh, but saying that, we actually do make it to... 3-2 to him. <laughs> I mean, I... I'm, oh, let's see how much damage we do. How much damage do we do? Oh, 16,000. Oh, you love to see. You know what? We lost, but as long as we got to see that, I'm happy. Oh, my God. That team sucked. He sucks. He had three flocks. How many flocks are just on your regular roster? Did he get all of them? He mu well, what? He had the, the Flying Argent. He had the Tarbaganathus. The Compsoraptor. Um, Alordrigius. He had everything. He is freaking... <laughs> oh my god, that is... 
That is beautiful. Wow. Here we go. Well done. Well done, my guy, Jumper. Fantastic. Well, at least I get to be in Jairus for, for a little bit longer. <laughs> that team was... Oh! Ew. I need to wash. I need to wash myself after seeing that team. That is dirty. All right, come on. Second proper battle. Indomit. Yes, there it is. Okay, maybe this time we won't face person who will start with a flock. It's quite rare because normally a lot of people start with ref. Um, oh, is he quicker? He. Oh, I am quick. Oh, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Um, oh, I don't know, actually. What's the best thing to go for here? Uh, I'm just, I'm not going to go for my priority. Nah, I'm not going to go for revenge taunting taunt because I actually have a resistance. It's not much, but you know, it's something. Maybe I should have, probably after seeing that amount of damage, um, but, uh, hmm. I guess I do get to cleanse myself. I mean... At this point, it would have just been the case of, like, who attacks first. Like, it, I would have done mine, he would have done his, and then I would have done my attack and then tried to get out of there. Um, so, if he goes through, uh, which he did... Uh, did he actually go through? I don't think he did go through that. That's very interesting. Okay, okay. Well, at least now I've learned that if I ever come against Indotaurus, just, just go for the cloak. <laughs> there's, there's no point going for anything else. Go for the cloak. I think, yes. To do anything in the first turn in Denemis is a mistake. Uh, so actually he's kind of wanting to stay in and just die apparently. So you know what? I'm happy to grant his request. He wants that. I don't even know what my... Oh my god, my resistance for render must be very good. Uh, 33%. Oh, he's, he's still... Ooh, ooh, he still didn't even get me through. Like one of them. Aye, aye. Okay, well, there it is. In he goes. I think there's like 100% chance of a crit. So basically my regular attack is 2,800 as long as I'm not threatened because then I don't get the crit. So a uh, Paratops, interesting. He's not going to be quicker than me. Uh, if oh, oh, he's dead. I think I'm going to kill him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do rampage and run. Hopefully get a crit. I mean, 30% chance. Stranger things have happened. And then my Paratops is going to come in and do 2,900. So, oh, we don't get a crit. Oh, we do kill him though. Okay, okay. So this is a map. Oh wait. Oh, oh. oh, I think I do 2,924, and he's got 2,922. Oh no, I don't kill him. Never mind. If I was maxed, then maybe I would have killed him. Uh, but he is actually quicker uh, because he is level 30. Oh, oh, I think he's killed me. He's killed my paratops. No, because then he's just gonna go for. Oh, he could go for regular hit, which would be smart. Or he's just going to heal. I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to heal and hope for the best at this point. But what's he got? Ah, you know what? Well played. Well played. But seeing as this was the creature that he was wanting to take on my flocks with. And what I could have done actually is baited him. I could have had Dilo Kairos come in and then swap to this thing. Um, but I think because that was his you know, his option, and it's not the best option to take on a flock, he doesn't have anything else. So, uh, Imperator Sutures, yeah, he, he doesn't have much. Um, so what, I mean, what could he do? Uh, I mean, he doesn't have anything that goes through, and I can do this, Playful Pounce, I can go for um, the one that goes through armor next. Because um, he's definitely going to kill one here. Oh, he didn't even kill one! Are you kidding me? Oh, no! But he doesn't bleed me! So, maybe that would work out in his favor. Um, oh, ooh. And then I can go for this. However, do I want to go for this? He's probably going to heal now, right? Oh, this is actually really good. If he heals and stuns me, then I can just go for my distract and then get one back because it's going to take me below one. So, yeah, do it. Like, like, that's actually not, that's going to help me. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Uh, we may as well reduce- I think he's actually won this one! Um, I probably- yeah, I can't even do Rampage and Run. Ah, damn. So, what's his attack now? Oh, yeah! Oh, well done! Oh, brilliant! Yes! Okay, that's showing me that Imperator Sutures, with the right sort of work, can actually kill those Comsa Raptors. And, you know what? I don't mind losing at this point, because these teams are so either random, um, 
And I don't mind losing because these teams are just like so random and I want to stay in Gyrosphere and enjoy seeing Indian Emmys in the nice lighting. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Give me a win with a game that I actually record. That would be sweet. Okay, here we go. Power tops. Eh. Anglosaur looks. Eh. The flock though. Pretty decent. Oh, would you look at this. What do you think he's going to do? Ooh, this will be interesting. Because he'll get to go first, he'll do his distraction, and then uh, I get to cleanse myself. So I'm no longer bleeding, I'm no longer distracted, um, and then he slowed down. So uh, this is this is what Indonemis was made for, like having freaking this out first. This is perfect, yes! He's probably never seen one before. Or maybe he has, because everybody has one now, apparently. <laughs> Cleanse and I reduce your speeds up. So what he could do here is go for his alert nullification. Nullify me and reduce my attack. And if he does so, well, well played to him, I suppose. Um, that's that's probably the best thing to go for, because I don't have any more priorities. Interest. Oh, wait, what? What are you doing? No, 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 no. No, no, come back. No, I want you to die. Oh, interest. Oh, wow. We got to see it from a different angle. <laughs> I kind of like how it moves around. You see how, like, the cloak works. That's interesting. Um, well, okay. I mean, you could have just nullified me. And then I guess I wouldn't have done as much damage. But you know what? Fair enough. I'm getting out of here. I don't think you hurt me on the way out. No, you just get more crit chance. So you got a 100% chance to crit and... You can go for that crazy of this, the 60% of target's max HP. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, forgot about this. Uh, maybe I'll even take down another one if I can go through the block, the dodge. Oh, dead, yes! <laughs> and then I'm just going to heal myself. Heal myself, get back out. Because there's one thing you want to do with Pyrotops is just get out of there. Oh, did, did the timer, like, go really quick though or did it just take so long to play all the animations it was like no, no, no you don't get to choose <laughs> i think it did honestly so i don't think i get to hit everything with that um but i think he might get to hit everything uh highest damage uh oh okay yeah sort of i'll just switch out into this um right so he's still got his wreck and that's what he needs to consider when it comes to this my comps are after uh, you can only kill me with a crit. Um, mm, mm. So I've just, like, once I kill this thing, he'll probably switch in his ref, I think. I think that's what he'll do. Let's see what he goes for here. Cunning Rampage! It, I'm pretty sure it didn't say target all enemies. Good. <laughs> I, was, I was a bit worried. So let's see what he does. Ah, it, 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 it seems like I've got him on the ropes a little bit. He's like, ah, what do I, what do I put in to, to take damage? Uh, but maybe now he's he's happy now because now he's gonna put in his ref. <laughs> he's like, yay! I get to do it. Um, but then again, let's see what he does. Um, thank you for the clap. Uh, I don't really know what. Uh, well, it took you a long time to think about it. Uh, man. <laughs> but we're gonna go for the classic counter, the Anklos looks, because even I might get lucky with a, a stun. Well, you know. Sometimes it'd be that way, and I, I'd be very lucky if I did. So now, what are you going to switch out to? Hmm. Hmm. Because he can't stay in, because he will die if he stays in. Or maybe he could just go for the nullifying, actually. If he goes for nullifying, I think he might survive. Um, so, it can't be the Alberta Spino. It can't be Paratops, because they will both take big hits. But he, he's determined to get this ref. His ref's like his winning condition. Like, yes, the ref's in. Ah, damn it. <gasps> Interesting, an Alberta Spino. I very rarely see these. But that actually might be enough to kill me with a bleed. Ooh, I like it. I do. Okay, so there's a ginormous hit. Um, right, minor critical counter. Okay, does he actually hurt me with that? Or he, oh, he just gets his own crit up. How much damage? Oh, I survived. Is it a priority? Uh, there's a cooldown and a delay, so he doesn't have that right away. Um, I even might even get... Oh, mm, da, 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 da. yeah, 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 let's do this. <laughs> Boom. I think I've got a plan to finish him, and unfortunately it does not, um, it does not have Indonemis anywhere, <laughs> unfortunately. There's the defense shattering. Oh, you love to see it. 
Um, hmm. You can't swap out. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe it actually does have end enemies in it somewhere. So, I don't... For swapping out, does he do anything for me? No escape. Unable to swap. Uh, oh, with that... Oh, oh, does he hit everybody with this? Oh. Okay, he's definitely going to hurt me with it. <laughs> it doesn't hit all of them. But, ah! <laughs> he's going to be... He, I want him to do the clap again and be like, my rep's going to come in and kill you. Which, well, you know... It, it, it very well might do. Actually, I shouldn't have even done the... I should have done the speed. So that way, he has to go for it. Um, do I stay in? I think, you know what? I think I'm just going to swap out, man. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put my own power stops in. Uh, and do some damage. Get him at a point where I can just finish him. Easy. Um... It's a shame that I'm not able to use Indonemis here very well. Oh, interesting. Wow. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Uh, now we can go for his biggest hit. Um, I w you know what? I He shouldn't have done that because I, I was going to go for my priority and hit. Um, so now he's still got his priority, which is going to do a lot. And this is the play we've got to do. Indonemis comes in. Now he has to go for it. Because he's going to do 3,700. Which would kill me. But I have 30% armor. So I will survive. And the bleed won't do da as much damage. And then he's again at a very tricky situation. I could stay in. And I could go for my big distracting. If I do. And he swaps out to something like Hydra Boa. Or the crocodile for instance. I'm kind of screwed. Um, so I, th I just kind of have to stay in. Um, he could swap out to the croc, but if he does, I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill the crocodile. Um, he has to nullify me, but I don't think it's going to do enough because my resistance to the attack is 25%. And I'm I, I'm, I'm hoping I do no more than 2,000 damage. Let's see. Here we go. How much damage? I do double 1,800, is it? 1,942. Oh, my God. But I do get the switch, which is the important thing. Oh, we won. Into Nemi's actually saved me here. That was impressive. Wow. So he did his big spit um, on me, and now he can't do anything. He's got no priority, and I've gained health back. He's still... So oh, now he gets... Oh, so he's applauding me for... Ooh, last time he applauded, he thought he had it in the bag, so I'm a bit worried now. Uh, he's probably going to swap this up. Oh, thank you! You're the man! Yeah, you're, you're, on, you're on YouTube. <laughs> thank you! <laughs> oh, that was pretty... Well, there you go. Maybe it wasn't the one to win it, but actually, Indomin Indominemis managed to survive a referendum long enough that something else could take it out. Twice it cleansed itself from distractions. And then, oh, oh, yes. It wasn't like the MVP, I think that went to Comsoraptor there, but still really good, really good show. Getting this thing to level 30 and maxing its attack and health. <sighs> yes, 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 that's 100% what I'm going to do. Because then that ref, which was maxed, is not going to get any better. But my own Indominemis is going to get more attack. It's going to get more health, which, which, more health, <laughs> more health. And with that a crit chance and the armor... I would have been able to kill that ref there if I was level 30. 100%. Would have been no argument. And I would have definitely not been killed by a crit. Because I would have had, what, like, 600 to 800 extra health to account for that. So, yeah. Uh, this thing, it'll be interesting to see what people swap out for it. Like I said, into Taurus, 100% swap it. But everything else, Giga, if you've got a Giga, I'd say probably swap it if you don't have Rexy. I don't know. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time. I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.